I can't leave you guys hanging like that. I feel like I'm ripping you guys off. I've looked in the men's, the shoes, in the women's 18 to 26 sizes, the bottoms, and even the men's bottoms. A complete bust in all the sections. I have found nothing, zip, zero, not one thing. But I do still have dresses and women's tops to go through. So I'm holding out, I'm holding out for a hero piece. Let's go through the dresses together so you can see you know, I'm just not finding anything. This is Karen Millen, but an orange dress. 100% no. What is this? It's a caftan. A black and white caftan. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I will hold on to it. This is a suit, a vintage suit made in the USA. Should I try it on for shits and giggles? I think so. Let's go through the tops and see if we can find any treasures. This is a denim jacket. I'm not sure if I like it, but I think it's worth trying on. Black Miller's but no. That's a pretty knit, but it looks really, really tiny. And it's by Bardo, but very tight fitting. It's a cute jacket, that might work. This is vintage and it's by Edward Cazes, made in Italy. But I am not into this. It's vintage and I can't resist vintage. I'll try it on. This is a billabong jacket. I think we need to try that on too. This is a seed top. Might try that on as well. That is vintage. A shift dress in a lilac color. I have to try it on. My favorite color. is so cute look at that balloon sleeve oh my god I love this so this is the striped knit this is 100% acrylic sometimes that's not a bad thing because it just washes really well you don't have to be so delicate with your washing I love the balloon sleeve but I'm not sure I really like this fit it's an odd kind of shape and it's a mock neck so i'm not sure i'm not really loving this apart from the stripe which i think is beautiful i love a block white with a black stripe i think it's so gorgeous i'm not really into this so this one i think i'm not going to take this is the seed top and although i've got my bodysuit underneath and it's kind of messing up the look you know the vision i still I'm not into it. It's just very plain. I don't like the sleeve. It's just a drop shoulder. The V isn't deep enough. It's just an awkward cut. So no to this as well. So this is the Billabong jacket, but it's quite fitted and small. Exactly the kind of thing that I'm not into. I love oversized jackets when they're in this style. And I also feel this is pretty dated so I'm not into this either so this is the vintage jacket I mean this is what I mean about vintage the cut and the quality is just unbeatable it's just the best look at the way it fits it's just an amazing blazer 
pity that I don't like the colour or the print. But you cannot fault the make of this jacket. They just don't do it like this anymore. And it also came with this skirt. So it's a suit. A vintage suit for $4. Okay, this is a boucle style of jacket. You know, the Chanel vibes tweed kind of jacket. I'm so sorry, you guys. It is so loud in here. I'm not really into this either. I do not like the buttons. The sleeve feels really dated. I'm just not into this jacket. But I do love the fabric. If this was cropped, it would have been like Chanel vibes. But no. You guys, I'm not having much luck. I'm not into this denim jacket either. It's too fitted and it feels yeah. like a shirt and not a jacket. It doesn't yes, have yes, that, yeah. that slouch, that relaxed vibe, that looser sleeve, you know, blue, beautiful, washed out rinse that I love. Not into it. All right, I've got the suit on, the black, white pinstripe suit that was made in USA. Yeah, no. Oops, not happening. It's just not right. It's just, first of all, I don't like the fabric. It feels like stretchy polyester, even though it's vintage. It's um, not a great fabric. These pants are elastic. They're just a straight cut, which isn't bad. But this jacket just does not fit nicely. It's just got an awful cut. No, 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 no. Okay, this is the caftan. I'm kind of liking it. I think it's very striking with this black and white. This detail here is very dramatic. And there's a little mesh piece here that keeps it from being too gaping. I do like the white trim and the length. It's just a very soft kind of gauzy fabric. I don't know, I think this is a great piece for summer, for summer travels. And it's quite classic. I think I might take this one. It's $2. And this is the final piece, the vintage shift dress in this gorgeous lilac color. I mean, this is a 12 and it fits me so well. So vintage sizing was just so tiny, wasn't it? I love the high neck. It's just a very simple dress, but just well made, well cut and really flattering. And this one's $2 too. All this summer stock is $2. It's got a little split at the back as well. I think this is so cute. my friends I ended up taking two pieces for four dollars first piece is this caftan I thought it was quite pretty I know that it's something that's gonna be quite timeless it's great for the beach for the travels I love you know that it's black and white I think it's just pretty I really do love a monochrome look so I just couldn't resist it for two dollars really it's by the fashion brand Fashion Spectrum. So I gather it's a fast fashion brand and a one size fits all kind of piece. So for two bucks, it was great. And then I ended up also taking the gorgeous lilac shift dress. It's vintage, it's made in Australia by Farouche and it's a size 12, but as you saw, I mean, I'm an eight to 10 and it fitted me pretty well. I just love this color. I love the simple clean lines. I'm a sucker for a shift dress. I think it's beautifully made. Just a simple zip at the back. I thought that was a beautiful find as well. So a little short but sweet thrift with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope. I can't leave you guys hanging like that. I feel like I'm ripping you guys off with the ending of that thrift with me. I'm not happy with it. So guess where I am? Yes, I'm at my little Anglican church. We're gonna raid the $1 racks because that's all I've got time for. You know, it's one o'clock, everything shuts on the coast around three o'clock. So let's go and see what treasures I can find. They've got all the racks together and it looks quite busy. Okay, come on, come on. There's gotta be something here. One dollar racks, yes. Oh my God, I spot something. I have to look at this before I begin from the start. What is this? Uh, yeah, no, okay. Let's start right from the beginning. Oh. oh my 
god this is vintage and it's like a hawaiian shirt it's got pineapples and frangy pennies and palm trees oh my god i have to get it this is already a good start vintage katie's wow but it's ugly no Vintage Miller's, but it's a size 20. Oh my god, this has got palm trees and tigers and elephants, but I do not like this neckline and it's not Vintage Miller's. This, on the other hand, is Vintage Miller's and it's a polo. It's a size 8 and I think I like it. This looks vintage, but I don't think so. It's too, too daggy. Vintage Miller's. It's too small. I like oversized jackets. Just a basic stripe knit. This might be good. Okay, on to the second rack. Vintage Miller's again, but no. This is a Zara dress, a Zara shift dress, but it just seems really cheap and nasty. I don't like the fabric. This is vintage, made in Australia by Morio medium but it looks absolutely huge it must be a men's this is vintage also an Asian inspired sleeveless top but no vintage Miller's 100% no. All right, you guys, we're on to our last rack. This looks vintage. A chambray shirt. I like that. Yes. This is another vintage piece, but I'm not digging this vibe. It's too, it's too granny chic. No, no. It's a linen skirt in a car key and it's size 10. Should I try that on? I think it's got pen stains there, so no, no. this this is vintage oh my god look at the color <gasps> that is so cute oh my god I found five things and I can try them on because the fitting room is open but I am gonna look at the shoes and bags so let's go I saw these last time I was here. Look how beautiful they are. Just a tan court shoe in this oh, gorgeous patina, but they're a size 40. I mean, what a steal for $4. They're absolutely gorgeous. Anything down here? How cute are these? What a cute little sand shoe. 
another size 40 but in a beautiful tan and white sole just laceless and relaxed vibes so cute Okay, this is the vintage knit in this absolutely gorgeous pink and cream embroidery. I mean, I've never seen anything like this and it's only a dollar. Oh my God, I am definitely taking this. I don't know if I'll keep it or put it on my shop, but this is a treasure find. Okay, another vintage item. This is a chambray shirt. I'm not sure if it's men's, it's a medium. It's probably a woman's, I would say, because the sleeves are not, you know, humongous on me. But how gorgeous is this chambray shirt? I mean, this is something that never dates, and I love that it's oversized. It would look great with a gorgeous pair of blue jeans. It's just a casual, gorgeous outfit. Okay, this is a basic crew neck stripe knit, and I love it. I love that it's, you know, not too oversized not too fitted either just the perfect piece for layering I love it it's such great quality too vintage Miller's polo top I even like it with my polka dot skirt I mean Miller's generally is pretty daggy but the vintage Miller's I don't know I don't know why they didn't stick to that kind of aesthetic but I love it and lastly my Hawaiian shirt oh my god is this not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? Just wearing it makes me so happy. Oh, this is a 100% yes. I am so happy. Nearly all those items were vintage. Five items for $5. But I'm not done yet. I've got one more little surprise for you. bridge you guys in my little hometown and I often love to come here to just stare at this gorgeous view decompress just realize how lucky and blessed I am and just give gratitude for all the good things in my life especially when I'm going through a rough time like I am now with my health I mean I'm a lot better but I'm not out of the woods yet but I just love coming here and looking at this gorgeous gorgeous view it's just beautiful it's so peaceful and I love taking photos here as well and it just brings me so much peace and serenity I just wanted to bring you guys here and show you my friends don't you worry I didn't forget let's go back to the car so I can show you the last five pieces of my little trip with me alrighty my friends let's take a closer look at those Amazing treasure finds that I just found for five dollars. I mean a dollar a piece. I hope this lighting is okay I mean is the lighting flattering? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's start off with this first piece this vintage jumper that is by Olympic knitwear size 14 and I can't make out anything else, but I mean look at that look at that detail look at the color look at the embroidery look at this sleeve it is just amazing i may not even wear it because i don't really wear pink but i'm gonna try and style it up and if not it will definitely go on my shop i mean this is just a treasure find i think it may be acrylic or perhaps a blend of a wool acrylic i'm not really sure but it's not scratchy i just thought that was just incredible incredible beautiful treasure find i mean look look at that color oh my god okay then there was this classic and the brand is classics by the way it just says classics 
quality cotton rich and that's all it says it's vintage it's a beautiful chambray shirt a timeless piece with tan stitching can you see the tan stitching and also the tortoiseshell buttons i mean it's all in the details you guys i look at buttons and stitching and things like that and i mean this is a just beautiful classic timeless piece that is just oversized and so relaxed and i love it a dollar can you believe then there was this crew neck stripe knit which i love stripes and i love a crew neck and I think it's a European brand because it's pool and bear, Europe size large, but it fits just so beautifully. It's a great layering piece. I think it's 100% cotton. Let me just check. I cannot find the fabric composition, but I would say it's 100% cotton. This is just a basic. I mean, you can't get enough of basics, especially me who has this crazy thrifted wardrobe. Basics are just something that's really lacking in my wardrobe still but I am so glad to have this one. And then I found a Miller's, vintage Miller's, little polo shirt. I think this is navy. I don't think it's black. Yes, I think it's navy. It's a size eight. It's a cotton polyester blend, and I think it looked just so cute. I mean, polo necks are just so classic. You can wear them with denim. You can pair them with a skirt for a quirky little vibe. You can pair them with shorts, and it's just, a beautiful staple again a basic and that is something that I just need and want and will always try and thrift because the basics that you find in retail stores at the moment are a very expensive B very expensive and C too highly priced and then finally I picked up this beautiful Hawaiian shirt that has pineapples palm trees and frangipanis I'll tell you guys a little secret. I have booked a five-star accommodation package in Hawaii. I can travel until the end of 2022. I was feeling very down and out. I needed something to look forward to. Luxury Escape sent me this beautiful deal in an email and I didn't even think about it. I just went ahead and purchased it because I realized that life is so short and I am so obsessed with Hawaii and I miss traveling so much and I am hoping that by 2022 international borders will be open and we will be free to travel and so I'm curating a very cute little wardrobe for my Hawaiian trip and they consist of Hawaiian shirts and beautiful little summer pieces and maybe I'll show you all that in another video when I'm preparing to go somewhere down in the future but I love Hawaiian shirts I think at this point I may have about five or six I love this one because it's monochrome so it's not too out there it's very subtle I can wear it as a jacket or just as an oversized shirt with denim shorts it's beautiful it's vintage by Fabiani size medium 100% cotton I mean just love it my friends, that brings us to the end of this trip with me, to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm a very spontaneous person, in case you hadn't noticed already. So I hope you guys enjoyed the way this video turned out, and I really hope I see you guys in my next one.